Look at this here. Look. Look at him. You can tell you a rat. Look. Look at him. The secret FBI informant, William O'Neill, he betrayed the top of honor. You know, without this kitten betraying Fred Hampton, we could still have a strong group of men, black men, running around. But um, when he first get locked up, he looks what? Nervous? Scared? Frantic? Yep, the scary look just like most rats. But let me say this, let me say this. Why would you sell your own people out? And once this look gets in their heart, their conscience bothers them, and it leads them to even harming themselves, going into a deep depression. I'm, I'm, I'm looking right now, and I, I can see before Mr. Woolley left us, his honor was just running all way frantic, trying to get out his veins. So after all, King Gurner's ideology of the rats can't take the pressure of their minds killing them and not being to go around their whole family. Look what happens with old Willie here. Willie kills himself. He runs into a train. How did Willie do it? Listen, he couldn't take it no more. Let's do an honorable replay of that. Willie said, I cannot take it. I am going. Damn, Willie. Your honor is going. You snatch it yourself. When you betray your own people, you can't go around your people. And what happens is you go into a state of depression. People stay away from this, this disease. It's called dishonor. King on a live and direct. Willie snatched his own honor. William O'Neill, the top Rizak.